Hi, it's Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com here with another One Take Wonder video. Today we're going to look at an alternative use for the Everyday Occasions card kit which was recently re released by Stampin' Up! And we're going to look at how I've been using it to complete a Project Life pocket page protector style scrapbook. But let's start real quick with a review of what's in the Everyday Occasions card kit. I absolutely love everything about this kit. I love the beautiful box that it comes in that it will store pieces that I'm not using. I love the idea sheet that shows me visually exactly how to put all of the projects together if I want to have um, a no thinking kind of moment with creativity and just simply use somebody else's ideas so it has all of the visuals right there on how to put it together it has a wonderful stamp set that has just some everyday kind of a greetings that you might want to use thinking of you happy birthday thank you for you love congratulations it does have a clear block this is not our usual clear blocks it's one that was designed just to get stamps into your hands and so you can always upgrade to our beautiful clear acrylic blocks that we carry but this one does come with the kit it has some great embellishments some buttons and little arrow clips and things like that it has a basic gray ink spot that's coordinated to work with all of the pieces of designer series paper and cardstock that's in here as well as another one island indigo so you'll have two great colors to work with You'll have several different sizes of envelopes, and again, they're sized to work, and let's go ahead and we'll open this up together real quick. I had to order another brand new one, which comes in handy for this video because I've been using these like crazy. Um, save the belly band that's holding it all together because you'll find a great use for that, I'm sure. Anything that has pretty printed colors on it and um, images we don't like to waste. So let's just go ahead and we'll pull that off. And again, three different size envelopes in beautiful crumb cake white so that's there for you really nice heavyweight designer printed note cards again in different sizes that are sized to fit the envelopes and double sided so you have images on the inside the natural ones you can write with a dark pen or a fine point sharpie and of course the white ones any kind of ink will work great for writing your message you have baker's twine you also have dimensionals and then you have this wonderful pack of all kinds of pre-cut, ready-to-go, uh, what do I want to call these, die cuts. And so you'll be able to use those on the front of the cards, and you're going to see how I use them in this scrapbook. So let's set that aside. And now let's take a look at this album that I've been working on. A lot of people don't always associate Stampin' Up! with scrapbooking or think that we don't do scrapbooking because we don't carry a full line of albums. And while we truly don't carry a full line of albums, right now we do have this beautiful one available. I like that you can simply wipe it clean. I love the 8x8 size. We also have great divided page protectors. But while we don't carry a full line of albums, all of our supplies that we carry can easily be incorporated into scrapbook pages and all of your scrapbooking projects that you're working on. On the front of this, I went ahead and used some of those elements that were from that sealed pack that you saw right here. And I used that on the front of it. I used sticky strips so that it's on there very, very secure. Also, one of the things that I like to do so that when my albums are sitting on a shelf like this, I love to use the luggage tags that Stampin' Up! provides us for our incentive trips. This was ribbon from one of the packages, as was this little piece here with a little bit of a sneak peek. Baker's twine with a little bit of gold through it. So that'll be a fun new pro product for you to experience with our next occasions catalog. Now let's take a look at the inside. I love three ring binders because it allows me to add or um, take pages out. Here I clipped this little treat bag that was given to us when we first checked in with the piece of candy. These little pieces here are right from the program that we were given. I just cut them apart, and it really just kind of helped pull this whole album together for me, helped me do it chronologically. One of the things that I'm finding about pocket scrapbooking, people will also call it Project Life scrapbooking, is that it's really easy to incorporate a lot of memorabilia. And I love memorabilia. I think that tickets, I think that maps, I think that pieces of programs. First off, it shortens the amount of journaling that you have to do, but I also think that it can... Um, really kind of have fun, be a fun way to add, oh, what, is, what is the word I want, um, dating to it. So, you know, like obviously this style of program may not be what we do 20 years from now. You know, when you look at vintage postcards compared to postcards today, so I think that some of our paper um, goods that we have can definitely add 
to the impact of the time frame that your album was created in. So I love pocket scrapbooking because it is easily allowing me to add memorabilia. With our pocket divided pages, there are several different sizes. Here I used the cards and I just simply cut the cards apart to get the dots here. The little banner pieces across the bottom are from, again, that pack of die cuts. And now I've just started to add photos. And of course I will be adding to the back. This was a little embellishment that was from one of our gifts. This photo I want to do some explaining to, so I simply took and tied the little arrow to the tag, and then when I pull the up on the arrow, the tag comes right with it. I filled in some of the blanks. I won't put photos in every slot, because I do want to use the Everyday Occasions card kit for some accents, but I'm starting to add photos. This is the back side of one of the luggage tags. In here, I'm going to use this for journaling. It's one of the tags. We're going to end with this part tip here. I want to show you with the envelope punch board how you can create notches and tabs for your project life and pocket scrapbooking. Well, we'll leave that out. It's one of the things I want to show you. Also show you how you can create little folders so that you can leave hidden messages. Here's another version here that I did that will open this way for me to do some journaling. This, again, was another one of the tags. So you can see how fun it is to add memorabilia to your pocket scrapbooking. And for those of you that worry about things that aren't acid-free touching your photos, this is absolutely then the way to preserve your memorabilia with your photos because nothing is touching. All these fun little two-by-two two squares that are part of this pocket page, I just started cutting up some of the cards. The doily I've cut into quarters, started to add some of the little pieces there. Here you can see where the next program and the next day will fall into place. Adding more memorabilia. This is actually glued to the outside and this is going to be a series of pockets and tags to tell the story. More memorabilia here. Another day so we'll be filling this in. This is just to show you the variation of different kinds of tabs you can create with the envelope punch board. Little tag here I put some more information. This little embellishment was created with the Everyday Card Kit. You can see I kind of started with the last, last night first, so I've got more pictures and more things done on this part. Again, cutting up parts of the program. This is actually one of the little envelopes and one of the die cuts, and I'll be putting some journaling in there to pull out. So this is a great way to incorporate the envelopes from that envelope, um, from the envelopes from the Everyday Card Kit. And then our photos. This here is the reverse from one of the hearts, and I just put it around the photo. Back side of that, you could actually leave that plain if you wanted to. Here you can see where I cut up the cards. I love the lavender and the linen thread that they had tied to these horseshoes that were at our place, and I wanted to keep it somehow. And so again, this little pocket becomes the perfect way to do it, and then I'm going to seal it shut with some washi tape. More of that quarter doily that's there, and more of the cards cut apart. Here I split one of the hearts in half, and put them left and right on the page. Some fun photos from that night. Again, another pocket, some tabs that are there, message from Shelley, more pictures that have been a part of that. Another thing, here's another envelope that I used and I put it in one of the larger 4 by 6 slots. This is These embellishments are on the front of the page protector and this is a great pocket for some of the larger pieces that I want to go ahead and keep. I really don't want to cut up this brochure from Canab, which is where our manufacturing facility is, and I still have yet to use the ticket. I think there's some other things down inside here that I um, are, am storing till I get ready to use. And then there's another one of those little pieces that I folded in half to go ahead and create a little place for messaging. So as you can see, the Everyday Card Kit is absolutely a wonderful kit to have, not for cards, but for your pocket style Project Life scrapbooking. And this is an absolutely wonderful um, way to preserve memorabilia along with your photos. This is great for young kids as well as, obviously I'm not a young kid, as well as us not so young kids, but I love it. It's an absolutely great way to preserve your memories. Now, as we finish up, let's take a look at how I did some of these notches and tabs. And there is no right or wrong way. I can't say always do it at two inches, always do it at four inches, something like that, because it's going to depend on the size of your pocket. It's going to depend on um, how far apart you want your tab space. There's so many variables, but I'm going to give you a couple of ideas just to get you started. 
Your scrap cardstock is always useful. Retired cardstock is always useful. That's what you want to practice on. It's a good thing. T um, plain um, copy paper works as well, too. So now let's just go ahead and we'll notch that and we're going to flip it over and we'll notch it again. And here you can see the two notches. We'll grab our scissors and I'm going to just cut straight across. And from here, I'll cut just straight across. So you can see that I already have one tab there. And now what I want to do, and since I was talking and I didn't remember the numbers that I started with, let me just make a little mark here so that I can remember. And we're going to go ahead and I think this will be close enough to help you get an idea. So, and now this time I'm going to go ahead and I'll take this center piece out. And now you can see that I have the tab showing up behind it just like that. So that's one, one idea and one possibility with it. Let's go ahead and I'm going to be using these, so don't panic. They'll all get used. I can just simply... I'm just matching up either end and you saw me come in straight this way but you can also continue that tab longer down the sides and that's going to give you more of a tag look just like that so that's another option for you. For this one here I went ahead and I just did the little notches and then on this side I just simply, and this one shouldn't be across like that, we're going to cut straight across. So I only worked on half of the card. I actually already had it folded in half. Let's see if we can make this happen for you. Let's go ahead and fold this in half. And it gets a little tricky when things are really tiny. So this one's going to just be like a little rounded up bump. And now on this side, and we'll just look at that. That's a pretty border. That's kind of fun to have that little extra piece like that. So, I mean, all the possibilities that just start to jump out at you when you start playing with your envelope punch board for more than envelopes, adding value to it. So, and for me personally, I'm going to cut this the whole way across. So now I have, oops, one more little tab. So I have this little bump behind it. It'll give me something to pull it out from the page. It's folded in half just like that. I could go ahead and notch in deeper here if I wanted to. So again, just kind of playing with all of the possibilities for creating folders and things like that. And like I said, I wish I could give you some specific sizes, but it's all going to be determined by the width of your pocket that you're playing with, how wide you want your tab to be and things like that. So have fun creating with your pocket page protectors and your everyday card occasions kit. There's lots and lots of possibilities and I look forward to sharing more scrapbooking possibilities with you. Have an awesome day and God bless you.